The big deal about hosting was keeping it a secret for my sister Debbie, because Debbie has to know everything. She has to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing, why I'm doing, how I'm doing. This morning when I was supposed to come to rehearsal, she pops into my room and I'm trying to um, get out without arousing suspicion. She wants to know where is it I possibly have to go on this Saturday morning? Why am I not coming to breakfast with the family? What is that about? She's popping into my room again when I'm getting dressed for this celebration tonight. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, okay, Debbie, you gotta get out of here so I can get dressed. We call her a few things, Debbie do, because Debbie does. <laughs> and she's been like that. She's been like that forever. She does not say I'm done until she's finished. She does not say I can't achieve that because it's too difficult. I can't reach that because it's too far away. She sets her mind to something and she gives it her all. She's been like this. When she was in high school, Debbie joined the swim team. She was the smallest person on the swim team. Everybody dove in the pool. They were halfway down the pool. Debbie dove in the pool. The race was done. First, second, third, fourth place winners, done. Debbie never stopped swimming. She kept swimming until she completed her course. That's how Debbie is, and that is inspiring. And she does everything with love, even when she's fussing at people. She does everything with love. We always say in the family, life wouldn't be half as interesting and certainly not as much fun if we didn't have Debbie.